Habitat building again on London Fields today. This will be a bit rough and ready. I'll just be filming on the phone and GoPro. I'm going to concentrate on getting the job done rather than trying to shoot a nice video. When I posted on Instagram and Twitter in the past about doing this kind of work on London Fields, there's been a little criticism saying it's not worth it, saying it's not the right area for nature, which is just quite a bizarre thing to say. Yes, we're not gonna have the impact here that we'd have, say, on the marshes, but it's still a very worthwhile project. When dead hedges and log piles were added here a few years ago, we saw species in the park that we hadn't seen before. Common toads being the most surprising, inverts like lesser stag and ground beetles, woodlouse spiders, black lace weavers, we saw so many green woodpeckers, more small bird species, and sparrowhawks started putting in regular visits. Small changes to habitat can massively increase biodiversity on this site without impacting the day-to-day -day park users. Today we're gonna to concentrate on the fenced off area just over that path. But despite being fenced off, this area does get used by people, leaving us to dodge the occasional human poo and a few other undesirable discoveries. Oh joy. I hope that's not human. Oh my God, no, that's cow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Condom wrapper is lovely. Each log pile has a slightly different construction to suit different species. For this one, we're digging a little way into the ground and we'll put rotten wood from different parts of the park at the bottom of this pile. A lot of these logs have lesser stag beetle larvae in them and are currently being disturbed fairly regularly. Moving them here will suit this species and leave them in peace. The next piles use more recently cut wood. One has cavities at the bottom that will suit toads. The other has lots of small holes drilled into it. These will provide homes for solitary bees and various other small insects. One of the joys of these loggeries is you never know quite what species are going to take advantage of them. This log pile we made a couple of years ago was checked out by a wren while we were still building it and a pair eventually nested in it. Final loggery of the day is on the site of an old dead hedge. There's lots of ground beetles here, and there was, and I suspect still is, a good few lesser stags. Another good day's work. We managed to build a fair bit of habitat, considering it was just James and myself and there's plenty more planned here in the future.